Now, over the last two weeks, I have been super transparent about how impressed I've been with the base $599 16 gigabytes of RAM model of the M4 Mac Mini, right between my 72 hour review, the stress test that I did, really running it through its paces for like productivity, multitasking, also picture and video editing, some light 3D model work, and really having it tackle things that I feel like 90% of the people sitting down and watching this video on a day to day basis would feasibly need. Initially, flat out, I was just immensely impressed, but over these next two weeks really running it through its paces for someone like myself that treats YouTube as a business right really where you start to see the crack show for the M4 Mac mini and so naturally I purchased the $1,400 M4 Pro Mac mini version for you guys compared them side by side so that way you guys didn't have to spend the money you could see the difference for yourself when you're really pushing things to the farther end and in my last video flat out I made some mistakes you guys left a lot of comments a lot of positive comments which I appreciated because that was my first time ever doing a stress test or anything remotely close to that and I did receive some well-deserved critiques because there were definitely oversights on my end that I kept in mind for this review video in terms of like being a bit more detailed, pushing things a little bit further. I walked away incredibly impressed by the $1,400 M4 Pro Mac Mini and at the same time, super impressed by the base 599 16 gigabyte version. And so the goal for this video today for you guys is to really compare them, run them through their paces so you guys know if they'll accentuate your lifestyle in the ways that, in a lot of ways, they've accentuated mine. So if you guys are new here, my name is Dave and this is where tech meets lifestyle. All right, so in the last video, I talked about how my trusty $2,400 M1 MacBook Pro, flat out, it's just been my workhorse running this YouTube channel. And so I did a video exporting test between my M1 MacBook Pro and the base $599 M4 Mac Mini, and it flat out just exported faster than my M1 MacBook Pro. Now, if we're looking at between the M4 Mac Mini and the M4 Pro Mac Mini, what I found is that the $600 Mac Mini handles the timeline pretty darn well when you're applying different LUTs, shaders, effects, all of those things. The $1,400 Pro Mac Mini definitely is a smoother experience throughout the entire timeline. $600 one is super smooth, but when you're using the Pro, you realize they're like little micro jitters and stutters that you're getting on the base model. Not enough in my experience to justify the price difference, but what does justify the price difference is the exporting time where the $1,400 model finished the export of close to a 10 minute 4K, 10 bit 422 footage from my Sony A7 4 flat out the pro model exported it almost 10 minutes faster than the base model now for the more casual audience that isn't doing a lot of video editing on a day-to-day -day basis that 10 minutes might not seem like a lot of time you're like oh it's 10 minutes i'll just go make a sandwich get a drink and come back and it's done but if you're running a business looking to scale things up into a business those 10 minutes are a chasm as it pertains to like quality of life efficiency and not wasting time on a day-to-day -day basis. And a similar experience, I would say in picture and photo editing and like Lightroom and Photoshop, where when you're working with the individual pictures, you're adding textures, clarity, sharpening, vignetting, really stretching the bands and the lights and the highlights and the shadows and all those things. The $600 base model handles all of that really, really well. And the pro model probably like renders the changes a bit faster, but it's pretty comparable. However, in my experience, if you're batch exporting lots of different pictures all at the same time, the M4 model definitely pushes those things out faster. And I had someone in the comment section ask me about the AI denoising. The $1,400 model definitely renders that faster than the base model. Now, for those of you out there who are gamers much like myself and are wondering how the M4 Pro fares against the base model, it's a flat out significant difference. Now, I used Crossover and I won't break down the ins and outs of how to make this work, but what I will do is include a link in the description down below for you guys to watch after you're done watching this video. So if you guys didn't know that you can run your Steam games on your Mac, you guys have access to doing so. So, and so the three games I ran are the new Warhammer 40k game, God of War, and of course, Cyberpunk. And for all these tests, I did everything at 4k resolution across the board because me personally, if I I can play a super crisp sharp 4k resolution i prefer to do so even if that means sacrificing a few fps i know a lot of you guys in the comment section are going to kill me over that i'm a fan of graphical fidelity but in basically every single game on the m4 pro you can run things at 4k with basically high settings across the board and basically maintain anywhere between 30 to 40 sometimes like 40 fps depending on the environments what's happening on screen 
across all of these games. The only one that was a little bit different was Cyberpunk, where I could run it at 4K, preset to high, though I did have to lower a couple of like the, the volumetric clouds and like the far distant shadow textures and things like that. I had to lower those a little bit, keep me in like the 30 FPS range. Or in the base $600 M4 Mac Mini, really if you want to run 4K, you're looking at low you're, you're really looking at like low presets for all of these games basically across the board um, and even then you're like still kind of struggling to maintain a consistent 30 FPS. I guess I shouldn't be so surprised but for those of you guys that don't care about 4K gaming and are cool with 1440, 1080, you can push the quality and the frame rates of those games on the base model significantly up to like 35, 40, 50 FPS, depending on the game that you're playing on. But if you want the 4K, the M4 Pro definitely is the way to go. And what I have found out as well with 3D modeling software like Blender is that although the base Mac Mini is able to do like very simple model, those of you guys that are looking to pick it up and learn how to use it, when the geometry becomes a bit more complex and there's a lot more going on in the scene, that's really when you start to see the $600 Mac Mini really start to grind its gears a little bit, where in my experience, nothing has ever crashed or like straight up just frozen on me but it does not perform as smoothly as the $1,400 model that's able to handle more on-screen geometry and meshes with ease, being able, to, being able to navigate scenes more effectively, manipulate things more effectively. And overall, in terms of exporting, what I found, the $1,400 Pro model is able to export between like two to four minutes faster also than the base $600 version. Now, what I will say is that for most people, that two to four minutes doesn't really seem like it matters much. But if you're someone that's doing this stuff, either dedicated as like a hobby that you're looking to turn into a business, or if this is something that like legit is a business for you, right? Every minute of time that is wasted of things not working really adds up, especially when you're trying to meet deadlines, be super efficient and productive. Having that additional like say four minutes here, four minutes there, say within about 10 projects, you're saving close to like 40 to 45 minutes worth of time that easily could have been allocated to the rest of your workflow, getting done the things that you needed to get done. Now, thermals is something that over the last two weeks, a lot of people have wondered about. And what I can say is that on a day-to-day -day basis, what even when I'm running like 50, 60, 70 tabs on Chrome, doing productivity things and like Google Sheets, Google Docs, and honestly, even in situations where I'm doing like a lot of heavy picture editing and video editing, workloads like that, they both managed to stay really, really quiet. Um, and in terms of heat in those situations as well, they've both managed to stay like either cool to like slightly warm, but not hot to the touch. But in my time really pushing them graphically with crossover and namely when playing Warhammer and God of War, those seem to be the ones that made the fans kick up, not Cyberpunk, surprisingly. And in those instances where the fans were kicking up, as you would expect, the bodies were also in that range from like warm to like pretty hot, but not to the extent, at least for me anyway, where I'd be concerned over like prolonged periods of time. And so to be completely honest with you guys, for 90% of you that are watching this video right now that are wondering, I say just go with the $600 base model, 16 gigabyte Mac mini. Honestly, bang for buck does like basically everything most people need on a day-to-day -day basis. In my estimation, the pro model really is for people more like myself, for people that are already engaged in a business like I am for this YouTube thing, or if you're someone that's starting up, say like a business venture, and you really wanna sort of like future-proof yourself as you scale upward for your business or hobby, that kind of stuff. Um, Cause honestly, the base model Mac mini is amazing, but it definitely just kind of falls short a little bit if you're using it every single day for really heavy workloads and really need speed and efficiency. But hopefully I answered all you guys' questions. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. But thank you guys so much again for stopping by and hanging out. I wish you a fantastic remainder of your day, afternoon, or night, depending on the time as you are watching this. Um, yeah, that's it. And as always, peace, love, adios, bye guys, and have a great day.